Hallo, wie geht's? Dieses Video ist für den Mittwoch. This video is for today's Wednesday. And what we're going to discuss today is the future and the passive voice because they are a bit related, which I hope you will see momentarily. So first, I'm going to explain that to you guys a bit real quick, and then I'll go down your lesson plan is actually right here. We'll go through the examples. So I hope you guys actually bear with me and go over these examples and don't just run them through Google Translate because the reason they're examples is so that you guys can see the mechanisms of how language is constructed or deconstructed. So you can infer meaning or create meaning of your own and not just run a sentence through Google and get a quick, you know, 100 points. Which, guess what? If you do the work, you're going to get them anyways. And oftentimes, doing the work requires less work than just Google translating these lessons. But anyways, so what I wrote up here for you guys is first person, second, and third singular. I ran out of space, so I didn't do it in plural. Plus, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Totes Pferd schlagen. That's idiomatic. I don't think that expression translates. Anyways, aktiv. Ich tue etwas. I do something. Du tust etwas. You do something. Er tut etwas. He does something. Und so weiter. And so on. So that's actively a person engaging in an action. Either first person, second, directly. So it will work, it work in the plural as well. In der Mehrzahl geht das auch so. Wir tun etwas, ihr tut etwas oder sie tun etwas. We do something, you all do something or they do something, as long as the person is actually the doer of the action. So now, passiv. In passiv here, in the passive voice, it goes like this. Mir wird etwas angetan. Dir wird etwas angetan. Oder ihm wird etwas angetan. So... To me, something is being done. To you, something is being done. Or to him, something is being done. Could be ihr as well. But what I wanted you guys to notice here is these are all dative because you're the recipient of this action. Now, here, you see angetan. The ge is very important. This is very similar to the perfect tense. Using the participle here with the ge. Something's being done. Now, all these wird is the same, is the form of the future. We'll look at that board in just a second. But all this here, es wird getan, it is being done. Es wird. If you were to say, es wird regnen, now you're in the future. It will rain. But since we're using the prefix here, participle, this is the passive voice, guys. Es wird getan. So let's hold that thought and scoot over here. Der passive, es wird getan. Ge, whatever. Es wird getanzt in der Disco, es wird geschwommen im Schwimmbad, es wird gegessen beim Abendessen. Whatever is being done, this is how you construct it. In the present tense, in der Gegenwart. This is die Gegenwart, aber hier ändern wir den Artikel. Here we change the article. So, we'll get back to this quote here in a minute. This is how we make the future. And since we're talking about times, Zeiten the times we live in. Gute Zeiten, schlechte Zeiten. This is the title of a super famous soap opera. You guys may remember me mentioning this before. And if you could tell me what it means, you get some bonus points. But die Zeit, um die wir jetzt reden, ist die Zukunft. So the time that we're discussing now is the future. And here's your basic conjugation chart for the future. If I were you guys, I would copy this down because it is important. 
Das ist wichtig. Das war ein Zwinkern übrigens. Winking ist Zwinkern. So, ich werde blank. The verb in the infinitive. I will, whatever it is you're going to do, goes here. So, ich werde euch das zeigen. Ich werde zeigen. I will show euch to you. Ich werde euch das zeigen. Yeah. Get rid of the glare. Then, du wirst. You will. Lernen. Du wirst lernen. You will learn. Second person, so only one of you. Not ihr werdet lernen. You all as a group. So endings werden wird konjugiert. And it's almost regular. So you have the A, S, T, D, N, N, infinitive, et, second person. So there's two words in the infinitive here. Wir werden sein. We will be. Both of these appear in the infinitive. But that's because the infinitive is the same as the first and third person plural. As has been the case in our previous lessons. This should be becoming a pattern to you guys. So we take S. Yet. We take the it here. And the third person of the future. We plug it in right here to create the passive with the use of this prefix. Es wird getan. Something's being done. Whatever that something is. Es wird getanzt. Es wird gegessen. Es wird geschlafen. Take all your verbs. You just add the prefix. And this. Now, if... You want to get more specific and include who it's being done to, not just that it's being done in general. I use the dative here for your personal pronouns. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Das ist also die Zukunft, wie man die macht. Und jetzt, now let me pull up your assignment here. We'll go over it together real quick. So, yeah. The saying over there, and you can open just another window in your Schoology so you can go back and forth between the screens here. Wer nichts wird, wird, wird. It's in the nominative. You can also phrase it in the dative. Aus wem nichts wird, aus dem wird ein wird. So you can read that on your Schoology. I didn't put it on the board because you can see it better in your Schoology anyways. But what does that mean? We're using both. Future and the passive in one sentence here. Wer nichts wird, wird, wird. Aus wem nichts wird. Der wird, wird. So, wird, first of all. Capital W. Großes W. 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 A big W. What does that tell us? That's right. It is a noun. Der wird with a T at the end also, is a barkeep. It's a person serving drinks in a bar. Der wird. Or sometimes they own like a little inn, typically like in Bavaria, where you can go upstairs and sleep. The first floor is like a restaurant, beer hall kind of thing. Um, and a Gaststube wird das genannt. See, wird das genannt, it is called. Because it is not doing the thing. It is being called. That's a very good example of um, the use of passive. If you have a nickname, ein Spitzname, dann wirst du das von den anderen genannt. That's what you're being called by the others. Anyways, aus wem nichts wird. Whoever is untauglich is a good adjective in German. Useless, unusable. Whoever doesn't amount to anything can always become a bartender, is basically what that says. Wer nix wird, wird, wird. So that's your example to kind of remember, because it has wird, wird, wird. Passive, future, and then the word that sounds like it but means something else. So if you look at your um, assignment here, I gave you the conjugation chart. Same one we just looked at. And here are some examples. Zum Beispiel, a little Z, capital B. Zum Beispiel, for example. Ich werde morgen meinen Aufsatz schreiben. Means, I will 
tomorrow my essay right. A better translation would be, I'm going to write my essay tomorrow. Oh, pardon the squeaky chair here. Also, ich werde morgen meinen Aufsatz schreiben. It's the future. Aber, but, beim Abendessen wird gegessen. During dinner, it is being eaten. See, we don't really speak like that in English. We would say, one dines during dinner, which in German is man isst beim Abendessen. Active voice. The man, the general one, general you, uh, that we translate in English as they do this, or they say, or you can do this. The general statement is very good for these kind of situations, and it's used more commonly in German. Uh, in der Disco wird getanzt is another example. At the disco, it is customary for people to dance. See how I translate that because it's passive? Literally, it says, at the disco, it is being danced, which is, again, nonsensical in English. But, in the disco wird getanzt. So ist das üblich. Das macht man da. In German, that makes perfect sense. And our third example, auf dem Fest wird gefeiert. At the party, one celebrates, or it is being celebrated. So, you see, passive voice can be a little tricky to translate. Now, active voice, same examples. Beim Abendessen isst man. During dinner, one eats. Now, this ist has two S's because it's Essen conjugated, not sein. You guys should all know this by now. Um, a better way to say it, so you don't say man ist Essen, it's kind of redundant. You would say, beim Abendessen ernährt man sich. Sich ernähren, reflexive verb, to feed oneself, to sustain oneself, literally. But, beim Abendessen ernährt man sich, would be a good way to say that. In der Disco tanzt man. Typischerweise is typically. Üblicherweise, commonly. Weise, the way something is being done. Typisch, typical, typischerweise. So in der Disco tanzt man. That's customary activity at a disco to dance. One dances at the disco. See, in English we say you go there to dance. You go to the dance club to dance or... That's where they do their dancing, at the dance club. German, either passive voice, in der Disco wird getanzt, or aktiv mit einem Mann. Not with a man, capital M, double N, but mit einem kleinen Mann. Not with a little man, but lowercase m. One N, the general one. One dances at the disco. Uh, so, your assignment here. Oh, yeah, first, the formula. Conjugierte form von werden, so the conjugated form of werden, like I showed you guys earlier, third person, es wird, it, is being done, plus the participle, equals the passive voice. So your assignment here, Aufgabe, formuliere sieben Sätze in jeweiliger Form, um zu demonstrieren, dass du den Unterschied verstehst. So, formuliere, that's a command form. Imperative, making a request. <clears throat> Excuse me. Formuliere, formulate. Bitte, I should have included, please. Sieben Sätze, seven sentences. In jeweiliger Form. Jeweilig means each, applicable to each. In each form. So, passive and future. Um zu demonstrieren. Remember, um zu, in order to. Demonstrieren. To demonstrate. It's all cognates. You guys should have not too much trouble with this. Das du, that you. Remember the double S, das satz. That you. Den Unterschied. The difference in the accusative. Den Unterschied. Verstehst. Second person. Verstehen. You understand. So, formuliere bitte sieben Sätze in jeweiliger Form, um zu demonstrieren, dass du den Unterschied verstehst. Please formulate sieben Sätze, seven sentences, in each form. So that's a total of 14, guys. One in the passive, one in the future. So that you can show me that you understand the difference between active voice, something is being done, either to you or you witness it, or it is a custom, 
that we're talking about. Like, um, what's a cultural custom? Let's say, in Japan, zieht man sich die Schuhe aus, before man ins Haus eintritt. In Japan, we would say, one takes off their shoes, or it is customary to take off one's shoes before entering um, one's home. So, there's an example for you. Um, and here are some examples for you guys that I made. So, structure yours like this. Ich werde vom Gastgeber empfangen. I am being received by the host. Empfangen is to receive or to, to host. Gastgeber, guest giver, the host. Now I put werden in parentheses there because if you wanted to say that in the future, I will be received by the host. You'd say, ich werde vom Gastgeber empfangen werden. Ich werde werden. I will be whatever verb you need, the verb infinitive. In this case, empfangen. I will be received. So if we put that in the passive voice, oh, excuse me, that was the passive voice because ich werde empfangen. If we put that in the future, ich werde empfangen werden, still in the passive. But our second example, if you look here, ich werde den Gastgeber empfangen. And you see here, den Gastgeber is in the accusative because he's a direct object. Because I will receive him. So he's coming over my way now. Versus vom, the M dative. I'm being received by him in the passive. Still with me? Zweites Beispiel, second example. Oh yeah, I actually wrote einfache Beispiele, simple examples here. Wir werden heute Nachmittag Fußball spielen. Wir werden, we will, heute Nachmittag, today afternoon, Fußball spielen, soccer play. So, we're going to play soccer in the afternoon. Notice I use the going to, because that's how we would say it in English. Unless it's firm plants, wir werden, we will. It's a little more assertive in English. But, as mentioned before, there's no going to, so... One way to say it is just in the present and imply that that's what's going to happen. Spielen wir heute Nachmittag Fußball? Zum Beispiel, wenn du eine Frage stellst, if you're posing a question. We play soccer this afternoon. But if you're telling someone, like in this example, wir werden heute Nachmittag Fußball spielen, we will play soccer this afternoon. Or we're going to. So compare that to, es wird viel Fußball gespielt in Deutschland. Oder, in Deutschland wird viel Fußball gespielt. Same way the phrase the same sentence. But the first one is a little more obvious what we're doing. We're taking, es wird gespielt. It is being played. So in the second one, we don't have the S. It's implied. In Germany, a lot of soccer is being played. You could also phrase that in the active voice, man spielt viel Fußball in Deutschland, which would be a little more eloquent way to phrase this, but we're practicing the passive voice. Then, we have, watch out for things like, ich werde schlagen, and in parentheses we have here, jemanden. This is the future. This is saying, I will strike somebody. Versus, ich werde von jemandem Geschlagen. I am being struck by somebody. Again, we have data von jemandem. And then geschlagen. More importantly, the prefix. Ge. So, careful with things like that. Uh, another example here is Sie wird etwas erzählen. She will tell us something. Versus Es wird erzählt das. It's being said that. What uh, man sagt das, again, active voice, it's being said that. And then we have another example here. Diese Geschichten werden in der Zukunft erzählt werden. These stories, this is again an example where I did what I did earlier. Werden, werden, and I used the passive voice in the future. 
So these stories will be told in the future. Diese Geschichten werden erzählt werden. So that's pretty much a step-by-step -step rundown of your assignment here with some examples. And now, du bist dran. Ihr seid dran. It's your turn. So formulate seven sentences, please. Times two. 14. And each one, like we did, I will do something. Something's being done to me. Future passive voice. Or, you, you know, passive voice statement. Future statement. Doesn't matter. You can use any form, any person you want. So first, second, third. If you use each, each once for the future and the passive, and then repeat one of them. You have your um, 14 sentences. Good luck. And that's it. Have fun. See you guys tomorrow. Bis morgen. Tschüss.